Hey what's up guys, I'm Linux here and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today's video is going to be a Halo video and I have not made one of these in a while. Well I made a video just recently discussing whether or not I was going to come back to making Halo videos because it's been a few months since I have and I've just been making Unity tutorials and stuff. But I have decided, you know what, I am going to upload a Halo video and I might even have a few more to come afterwards as well. So if you do enjoy, uh, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more and let's get right into this. So specifically in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a glitch in the Halo Infinite campaign which has actually been patched as of Season 2. So this glitch, for those who don't know what I'm talking about and some of you will probably know what I'm talking about, there was this glitch where you could fly the Pelican in the Halo Infinite campaign. And it's actually been patched, so some of you probably already know that it's been patched and I mean there was even an article written about it as well which linked to my video because I was actually wondering like how on earth is this video getting so much views because I think I posted it in like December of last year something like that so months ago now but I noticed maybe a few weeks ago or so that the video was starting to get a lot of traction and a lot of views and I was sort of just wondering why. So anyways, uh, that's when I see that the traffic is coming from like outside of YouTube, so I assume that maybe someone had discussed my video or linked my video from somewhere, and then I end up finding this article which I'll show right here, which is talking about the Halo Infinite Pelican glitch actually being patched. So as you can see here, they've got my video linked, and this is obviously how it's gotten a few thousand extra views. And it was actually through this article as well that I found out that the Pelican glitch had been patched. If it wasn't for that video getting thousands of views and that article being made, then I wouldn't have known that the Pelican glitch was patched because, yeah, I had no idea until I saw that. I even attempted to do the glitch myself just today, and at first I was doing it a bit wrong, and so I thought, oh, so the glitch has been patched, but then I tried it again, because then I was actually doing it the proper way, the proper way I actually did it in the video, and well, yeah, it, it didn't work, so it turns out that yes, the glitch has been patched, and yeah, it looks like there's no way to fly the pelican in Halo Infinite anymore, which does suck, because that was a pretty fun glitch to do, and, you know, I'm gonna miss it. It was really fun fly flying that pelican, but yeah. I don't know why 343 patched it, honestly. It wasn't that harmful of a glitch. I don't get why they patched it. It's like this other glitch they patched where you could use this, um, it was like some sort of scorpion tank that you could carry around in your hands, and apparently it was like really... <clears throat> and apparently it was like really OP or something and was really good for like legendary or whatever. But yeah, now 343 have patched that as well. So they seem to be patching certain things which they don't really need to patch. I mean, I can understand patching an OP glitched weapon which shouldn't even be existing in the first place. But when it comes to patching just a glitch where you can fly to Pelican, I mean, not many people would have known about that. Like, I guess they do have their reasons, and whatever the reason is, it is their decision, so yeah. So after seeing that the drivable pelican glitch in the Halo Infinite campaign was patched, I actually decided to go on live fire to see if that one glitch where you can destroy a pelican with just a few rounds of a sniper rifle still works, and well it turns out that the glitch, yes it does still work. Just fine, so they haven't patched that at all. So yeah, in case you guys didn't know, you can actually destroy the pelican on live fire, the multiplayer map, so that's just a quick fun fact there in case you didn't know. But yeah, so anyways guys, there's not really much else to talk about, I just want to talk about the uh, Halo Infinite Pelican glitch being patched in the campaign, since I think it is quite weird that they did patch it, I guess they just didn't want people to fly the Pelican for whatever reason, maybe they just don't want people to fly it until they release Forge or something, because I'm pretty sure in Forge there's going to be a flyable Pelican and maybe even a flyable Phantom as well from the leaks that have come out that I've seen, so yeah. That will be interesting to see, I have no idea why 343 patched this pelican glitch, like I said it's really weird. But yeah, also just before I do end today's video as well, I would just like to say, uh, well, as you can hear right now there are a lot of cars and trucks driving past and that's just because of where I'm recording this video at the moment. And uh, yeah, I don't really have the best place to record at the moment, so I'm kind of just recording in this area of the house here, and uh, yeah, you can literally just hear the cars and trucks and stuff drive right past, it's really annoying, so yeah. 
But anyways, um, hopefully you all did enjoy and found this video okay. If you do want more like this in the future, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.